YouTube, now I need to, you're back again once again, and today, people, today, we are here for episode numero uno of a brand new Nuzlocke here on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Rido Cracked Egglock. Yes, indeed, we are doing an Egglock, but not just any old Egglock, we are doing a Cracked Egglock, but in typical nappy fashion, I'm going to ask you to put a pin in that. We will explain exactly what a Cracked Egglock is here in a little bit. If you have ever participated in Egglock before, whether here on the channel or elsewhere, then you pretty much know what to expect, but with a twist at the end. But like I said, we'll put a pin in that and we'll continue on for now. If you guys are new and just now joining us, hi, my name is Nappy. I'm very loud, I'm very boisterous, and I do tend to curse from time to time, but I guarantee you, you will have no more fun anywhere else on YouTube than here right now with us so I implore you I was gonna say I urge you to stick around um, but if that's not your cup of tea I understand no hard feelings I hope that you can find just as much fun elsewhere to fit your cup of tea <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else anyways enough introductions let's go ahead and get into this if you guys are hyped for a new LP here on the channel I know you don't exactly know what it is yet but if you guys are hyped for a new LP here on the channel uh, and of course, if you want to show your support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. There's no easier, no better way to show your support than by hitting that like button down below. I know it's easy to forget sometimes when you're on mobile or watching on television, but you can still show your support on both those platforms hitting that like button down below for us. But let's go ahead and get into it. Yes, we are playing Blaze Black 2 Rideau. We have had a history, uh, a troubled history uh, with Blaze Black 2 Egglocks here on the channel and it all stems back to our initial blaze black egglock which is held in such a high regard it's like one of our s tier playthroughs here on the channel if you've never seen our blaze black lp it happened long long ago it's like it's like mythological at this point <laughs> it happened long long ago and it's considered by myself and many, 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 many others to be one of the best projects on the channel here. So definitely go back and check that out. If you have not, at your earliest convenience, I would urge it. Um, but we have attempted multiple Blaze Black 2 sequels over the years, and we've never just quite gotten it right. So this time we're going to try again <laughs> and see if we can make this happen. Now, our last Blaze Black 2 egglock that we did, it was wonderful, it was awesome, it was amazing. But unfortunately, my hard drive bricked um, I don't remember the exact details of what happened to it but um, more or less it bricked um, and I took it to a whole bunch of different places and no matter what I tried no matter what I could do I could not recover that hard drive our God of War LP was on that hard drive as well that's why that never materialized in anything um, but no matter how hard I tried unless I were to sit and replay through the game in its entirety which would therefore mean a brand new LP which honestly I couldn't necessarily even do now that I think about it anyways what's done is done and we can't change it but that's why we're here now so that we can hopefully begin a new blaze black 2 project here on the channel and finally complete one <laughs> finally we can complete one so let us go ahead and load it up I should have gone to settings I didn't see if it was available and fixed my shit up but anyways hey there welcome to Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Rido or Pokemon Volt White 2 Rido you may you may be seeing Professor Juniper but it's Apex Cubed and Dreano speaking we're the developers of this hat well you have Professor Juniper's voice how's that <gasps> is that a Pokemon? 
You likely know the basics of the hack. We're looking at new wild encounters, a more challenging game, extra boosts, many weaker Pokemon, and moves from later games among many other features. The Unova region is the same at its core, but enhanced with many modern features that you'll encounter on your journey. As usual, documentation is provided to detail every edited aspect of the game. Be sure to use it if necessary. Otherwise, there's not too much else to say. We hope that you'll enjoy our spin on Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. Have fun. So let's get started. Who will you be playing as? So yes, so to, it, for those of you guys that have not heard of this, so there is Pokemon Black 2, the regular game, and then Dreano made Pokemon Blaze Black 2, and then Aphex Cubed, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, m made Blaze Black 2 Rideau, which is an even finer crisping up of Dreano's crisping up of Pokemon Black with Pokemon Blaze, or Pokemon Black 2 with Pokemon Blaze Black 2. So there's Pokemon Black 2, Blaze Black 2, and then Blaze Black 2 Rideau. So I've never played this before. All the documentation and everything else will be included for you guys in the description below, but put a pin in that. that that's in the other pin from earlier. We'll get back to that in a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Will you be a boy or perhaps the girl? Last time I checked, that's the parts I got. So we're gonna go ahead as usual in all capital letters because that's how I did it ever since generation one. Your name is Nappy? Hell yeah. So your name's Nappy, that's good to know. Could you tell me a little about your friend, the older boy who lives nearby? Would you mind telling me his name? So I debated back and forth about who I should make the rival. Um, the regular names, the, their standard names, we reserve that for our late night series, which if you're new here to the channel, I definitely recommend checking out our late night series. Um, I don't know if we're going to make it this far in late night. Late night's supposed to be nostalgic and whatnot, so I don't know. We'll see. Is this considered nostalgic? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I've been debating back and forth who we should make our rival. I know we had Hector and Renegade Platinum. Um, I have a friend from way up north who I think would have a big old cheese on his face if he saw this happen. You guys, uh, have not met him yet, but maybe... In the future, we'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna make our arrival, my boy Trey. Trey, did I get that right? Nappy, you'll surely be given a Pokemon, but you can use whatever you'd like. Let's get right into it. Time to visit our version of a tougher, updated Unova. Unova? Unova? I thought it was supposed to be United States of America. Unova? United States of a? Unova? United States of a? <laughs> That's why I say Unova. Because it's based off America, right? I mean, right? it's just so pretty and so beautiful. You guys hear Sasha insisting on participating in episode one? Mm. She just can't let things be! She just cannot. She just cannot. Look at this beautiful, scrumptious opening. I haven't eaten all day and this is just nourishing my tummy. <laughs> yum, yum. Are you done? Sweep them leaves up. Chop, chop. That's right in front of the door. That's a tripping hazard. Oh, hi. Why, Aria Juniper, it's been far too long. What can I do for you? Oh, wow, a Pokedex for my child? Why, that's great. I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. What now? She's already here. Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you've decided on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. What the hell? So we just have a shaman chilling in our side yard and it can also change forms in our side yard. This is gonna be a great game. I don't remember that in Blaze Black 2, so that's news to me. Nappy, I'm home. And guess what, honey? I've got some big news for you. Oh, is this me? What the fuck is this on the bed? What is that? What is that? Hold up, let me check the trash can. Fuck! 
We ain't even got no chair. We just got a donut on the floor. My old friend Professor Juniper called me today for the first time in ages. It's your big day today. Juniper's assistant Bianca is waiting to give you a Pokemon. Ah, oh, to be young again. Have a wonderful time on your travels. I'll always be here if you need me. Oh, sweetie, don't forget to save your game first. Yes, I want to save my game. That's very important for what we're planning on doing here. And in all honesty, it is always important to save your game because only you can prevent lost save data. Don't forget it. All right, you're all set for an adventure. Good luck out there, kid. Bye. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Don't text me. No, you can't save none of my money. Uh, hi, Nabby. Oh. Hey, you got a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here, and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Nappy, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's go get your Pokemon. There's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, Nappy. All right, let's go find that person named Bianca. Let's go. Well, why do I have to, bro, why can't you show me? The power of science is amazing. Now you can use communications to play with 100 with a hundred people at the same time. You always gotta talk to the science guy. That's official good luck for any Nuzlocke, any LP. You gotta talk to the science guy. He's a science guy. He knows more science than you do. Obviously, that's all he talks about. Do you talk about science? I don't think so! Welcome, welcome. I am the key bearer. The keys I shall grant to you. Then off I shall go. This process, it may appear odd, but fear not, for it works. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just give me that shit. Give me that shit. Got an easy key. Oh, give me that shit. Okay, give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give, give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just give me that shit. Challenge mode. Give me that shit. Obtain the challenge key. How do you turn those on? I don't know how you turn. Oh, oh, okay. Black city, black city. Give me that shit. Ooh, that key red. Go. Give me that shit. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me, give me that shit. Tree hollow key. Let's go talk to the Ents. I must have one final thing of you. You must save your game. Okay, bro, come on, check it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to talk to Bianca. No, she up these stairs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Huzzah, and so I depart. Enjoy your new challenges. Damn. That was like you ran out of balls in a raid and that motherfucker just, woo, his people needed him. He's gone. Oh, I get it. The outlook is as spurty as most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca's up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Shut the fuck up. You rushing me, ho? Hey! Let me talk to you! It's so pretty! Oh my god, hey there, don't you agree? <laughs> oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Nappy? Yeah. Oh my god, wait! You're Nappy! Oh my god! Wow, 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 wow! You're exactly like what I heard. <laughs> Nice to meet you! I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Like, no big deal if you can't, but like, pretty please. Oh my god, wow! Thank you! Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyways, filling up the Pokedex is totally fine.
That's it? I thought I was supposed to get a pumpkin. Hello? Okay then! Ta -da! And here's the Pokemon that will be your murder! Choose a Pokemon. So, if you've never participated in Egglock before, you might be like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, choose them Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to choose Ashwat, because I love that motherfucker. No, fuck you. I want you to choose Dead Pig, because I love that motherfucker. No, fuck both of y'all. I want you to choose Snobby, because I love that motherfucker. But it does not matter which one we choose. Um, as I mentioned, this is a cracked Egglock. The game itself is not randomized, so that's why the starter choices are the starter choices. Um, the essence of an egg lock is that I will swap out whatever encounters that I get for an egg at a later point in the series. But if you've never seen an egg lock, I know that may still be confusing to you, but I remember those pins? Remember those pins? We'll get back to those pins in just one moment. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and choose my personal favorite Oshawa for this portion of our egg lock. <laughs> ah! Give me that Oshawa! Woo! Oh my god, wow, you and Oshawa are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose? So in traditional Nuzlocke rules, you do nickname every Pokemon that you get, but we're not going to name this one. Remember the pins? We'll be back to the pins. Just, 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 just ride with me. Just ride with me. Trust me. Okay, oh my god, gotcha, you're not going to give it a nickname. Wow, now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too, a Pokedex. Oh my god, 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 you have a Pokedex, you want to know what it does? The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So Professor Judobar wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the universe region. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that's it? Okay. All right. Wait, no, I want to check that trash can, damn it! Hey, how long are you planning on keeping me waiting anyways? Hey, what's that? So that's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon, got it? What's that you're holding there? <laughs> it's a big egg! It's me like... Please give me a Pokédex too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokédex, I can learn more about Pokémon. That'll make me tougher, right? Um, like, who the fuck are you? I'm Trey! <laughs> it's Trick or Trey! I'm going to travel to Univer Region with my Pokémon partner in order to search for something very important. Oh, he's so mysterious. What is he searching for? Oh my god. Is he well, whatever. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyways, I just happen to have another big on me. It looks like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago. So the more, the merrier. Is this me? Oh, okay. All right, hold up. Trash can is empty. All right, I had fun. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Snivy that I raised from an egg. He didn't raise it from an egg, or did he? Is that chance? So he didn't get his starter from Bianca? He just so happened to have the starter Pokemon, the very, very rare starter Pokemon that is super effective against us in an egg? Doing the egg lock. What the fuck? All right. So according to Nuzlocke rules, our Nuzlocke does not begin until we receive. I think. I think the official rules are like your starter, the Pokédex, and Pokéballs. Well, we have our starter, we have our Pokédex, but we do not have Pokéballs. That's why. That's the only one that ever really matters. That's the one we always talk about. Like we don't have Pokéballs yet. I won't forget the pain you just put my partner through. 
But that's why we only ever mention Pokeballs, because the other two are like a given, a part of the story. But in certain Pokemon games, Pokeballs are not a part of the story, and you can, I guess, do whatever you want. You might be able to get a little bit of grinding in or whatever before you ever even get the chance to get a Pokeball. Hey, keep clicking Leer, bro! Keep clicking it! Yes! Like I said, not that this battle mattered, but I do want to point out that that Ashwa just got two crits. That's why I just got two crits. This boy is a trooper. He wants to be on the squad. But I have bad news for you, bro. I couldn't achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forget this frustration. Don't forget it, bro. Don't forget it. I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool. I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Such dialogue. Whoa. The Pokemon on both sides did like their best, but this little one is still weak. So battle with it and make it stronger. Alrighty, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who battle and get hurt. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you are. Let's go inside. No matter where I am, it's the same. <laughs> okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center heals Pokemon for, like, free. You should bring your Pokemon here anytime they're a week. I'll heal your Pokemon. Hand me your Pokeball for a second. See, this is not Nurse Joy. Because her hair is too red to be Nurse Joy. It's, it's almost like a burgundy. This has to be like, what's a synonym for joy? Like, I don't want to say happiness, but this is Nurse Jubilee. Nurse Jubilee. I was going to say Jubilation. Nurse Jubilee. Not Nurse Joy. This is Nurse Jubilee. Is Jubilee a synonym for joy? I don't know. I'll look that up. Next, I'll explain the PC. This square thing is a PC. Any trainer is free to use it. You can deposit Pokemon in it. Also, like you can withdraw Pokemon from it. The next thing is over here. <laughs> this is the Pokemon. Here you can like buy and sell many different items. The Pokeballs you use to catch Pokemon can also be part of the Pokemon. Here, Nappy, I'll give you some Pokeballs. So now our Nuzlocke has begun. Hootly <laughs> boy. Ha! Huh? There's a lot of noise outside. Shall we go and see what it is? No, I ain't going nowhere! I'm gonna stay right the fuck here. Hootly <laughs> boy. And I'm gonna save this game. Ah! And if you guys remember from the start of the video, remember that pin, that big, 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 big pin that we had? We're gonna bring it back right now and talk about it. Hooey. Unpin it, ladies and gentlemen. We are in fact doing a Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Rideau Cracked Egg Lock. And a lot of you guys may be wondering, what the fuck does cracked mean, Nappy? And I'm gonna tell you right now, in the past on the channel, we have done egg locks and they've always had very, very strict, precise, perfect rules so that you could send in a perfect, 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 precise little egg. Well. We're not sending in perfect eggs this time. We're sending in cracked eggs. Eggs that are already busted open, broken, and uh, contain all kinds of naughty, naughtiness. I just watched that episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog with uh, Freaky Frag, so it's all in my head. Naughty, naughty. But anyways, yes, a cracked egg lock. There are no rules. Send in whatever Pokemon you'd like. In the past, we've had rules like you must send in a basic Pokemon. So for example, if you wanted to send in a Gengar, then you have to send in a Ghastly. If you wanted to send in uh uh arceus legendary pokemon weren't allowed but now they are any pokemon is allowed any move set is allowed any ability is allowed so you could send in some type of seriously cracked broken power or you could send in some kind of seriously cracked busted garbage quash having pokemon if you'd like 
However you'd like to support this egglock, you can either help us or hinder us. It's up to you. So I know I said there's no rules for this cracked egglock, but there are a couple steps that you need to follow, I guess. <laughs> Not quite exactly rules, but steps that you need to follow in order to create your eggs and send them to me. First things first, I need you to check the description and go ahead and download the RAR file. Inside of it, they will have the documentation for the game that we're playing, as well as Pokegens so that you can create your eggs. Now, I'd like to give a quick disclaimer. If you're going to go ahead and make an egg to send in for the egg lock, and you are not really used to making eggs or utilizing Pokegen, then please make your egg while you follow along with the video. There's not a whole lot of rules or this or that, but there are a couple points that I want to point out and make sure that everyone gets right so that you don't mess up your egg because a messed up egg we can't use. And I would hate for you guys to go ahead and make all these different eggs and we just can't use them. So please, if you're not sure exactly how to do it or you just want a refresher or whatever, then make your egg along with me in the video. Okay, so now at this point, you should have the RAR file downloaded, all the files extracted, and inside, once you pop open Pokegen, you should see a program like this. So first things first, what you're going to want to do, and this is very, very important, go up here to options and then go to target game and make sure that black 2, white 2 is selected. Now it is already selected on mine, and that may be because I did a test egg and I've already loaded it up like that. So your Pokegen may not automatically launch on black 2 white 2 if it does then great if it doesn't just always make sure it's on black 2 white 2 if it's on any other game you're gonna make an egg for a different game and it's not going to work and we can't use it so make sure that black 2 white 2 is selected ignore the PID you can put whatever species you would like in here now as I mentioned before in the past we've done only basic mons in the past we said no legends um some egg locks have even said no pseudo legendary pokemon but you can do whatever you want if your favorite pokemon is a haunter and you want to send in a haunter send in a haunter if your favorite pokemon is salamence but you want to say hey fuck that bag on i'm gonna send him a shell gun you can send me a shell gun if you want so i'm gonna choose a pokemon at random for example sake i'm going to say um dragonair so dragonairs are example pokemon our nickname um you can make it whatever you want whatever you set the nickname as is what its name will be when i hatch it and i can go ahead and put the nickname on it then if you want to make it your name go ahead and make it your name if you have a nickname that you enjoy that you want to see used then go ahead and put that on here as well that's how drax came to be as a matter of fact drax our t-tar ended up from an egg lock way 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 back in the day um so put whatever nickname you'd like here uh i'm gonna put sasha just because and make sure you check the box if you don't check the box nickname won't go through i won't know what to name your pokemon leave your experience and your level at one uh, we want to hatch the Pokemon at level 1, and we'll have rare candies in the game to level them up accordingly. Um, it's so weird doing videos like this, because I feel like you guys have uh, been around for so long. Like, you know how egg locks work. But I gotta do this for people that have never participated before, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I'm explaining the obvious, but I'm not really. I'm really not. So, anyways, moving right along. Uh, leave your experience and your level at 1, or leave your experience at 0, leave your level at 1. That's fine. Nature, you can make it any old nature you want it does not matter make the nature whatever you want it to be i'm gonna make this one bashful just because i thought of it doesn't matter you can make it a beneficial nature you can make it a neutral nature you can make it a um a nature that doesn't benefit us at all um but you get to choose make sure you type it in there held item you can put whatever held item you'd like um i guess the brick piece does not exist in black two white two <laughs> so we can't do brick piece um, but you can make it a TM if you'd like um, you can make it a master ball in previous egg locks um, since we had the basic Pokemon rule you had to uh, if you wanted to say like send me a Flareon you would have to send me an EV holding a firestone and then I would know to evolve that into a Flareon um, if you wanted to send me a mag mortar you would send me a magby holding a magmarizer so that i know as much as i want to don't keep it a magmar evolve it all the way to mag mortar so you could put whatever item you want here you could make it a useful item you could make it a, a 
a not useful item you can make it a tm an evolution item whatever you want as long as it's in the game you can pop it in here leave your happiness at zero so we can hatch eggs as fast as possible uh, the ability again put whatever ability you want in the game i'm gonna put speed boost just because the first thing that came to mind put whatever ability you want oh we should change our example so when it comes to forms you can actually if the pokemon has a form you could send me uh, a Rotom Wash if you wanted to. I know that Dragonair was our initial example, but Dragonair doesn't have forms. So if you want to send me a Pokemon that has a specific form, you can go ahead and send me a Rotom Wash if you want. It will 100% hatch from the egg as a little washing machine already in that form. And we're going to keep it just for an example. But you can set it to whatever you want. Um, make sure you leave the country US. Um, the origin, again, very important. Make sure you choose black too. At any point in time during this process, if it asks you what game or it gives you an option for a game, choose Black 2. Black 2, White 2. Easiest way to mess it up. Choose that way. Um, down here, um, Rotom it doesn't have a gender, so you can't choose one. But if you choose a Pokemon that does have a gender, you can make it male or female. Make sure you click Egg as checked down here. You want to give the Pokemon Poke Rust, you can give the Pokemon Poke Rust. Uh, but then you should be good here with the main tab. Moving on to our second tab, Met. Um, again, make sure the game is set to Black 2, White 2. <laughs> if for whatever reason it's changed, change it back. Um, the location, you can honestly make it anything. I, I love Anvil Town, some of my favorite spots in Unova. So we're going to choose Anvil Town. Um, the ball, you can make it whatever ball you like. Um, Luxury Ball is my favorite ball. Make sure level is set to 1. The date, you can choose any date you'd like. Um, I feel like the crazier you get, the more likely of a chance you'll mess it up. I don't know if that messes it up at all, but just for whatever day you make it, make it that date. <laughs> Maybe make it your birthday this year. I don't know, but don't go crazy with it. But you can make it generally whatever date you'd like. Uh, the next very important part, encounter. You must, must, must set it to Egg, Pal Park, Event, Honey Tree, Shaman. <laughs> you must set it to egg won't work if you don't do it make sure the fateful encounter box is checked and make sure as egg is checked because again guess what it won't work if you don't do it <laughs> so make sure you check those uh moving on to the third tab stats go wild go crazy if you want to give me a perfect 31 across the board give me a perfect 31 across the board you can randomize it however you want if you want to start me off with zero EV so we can just go as we go do that you can set it to whatever you'd like i'm just randomizing it at this point but you can set it to whatever you want you can go in and edit each of these individual values do whatever you want then <laughs> moving on to attacks go wild <laughs> you can choose whatever you want um as i guess as long as it's a move i'm gonna think of uh let's do and why not so set whatever moves you want this last tab um uh, doesn't really matter play with it if you'd like if it ends up fucking up your egg then go back to normal don't fuck with this page i don't fuck with this page so i'm not gonna tell you anything about it uh ignore that shit um so when you are done go over here right click and click set and boom your egg pops up so once you are done you want to go up here to file and save Pokemon from tabs and you can save it whatever you want as long as it's a .pkm file now I will tell you from previous experience that you should not name it what the Pokemon is this is the file that you're going to be sending me if you name it what it is I'm gonna know what it is <laughs> I mean if it's a Bulbasaur and you name this Charmander then oh you got me fooled me but i'm just pointing it out because in the past i have gotten so many so so many 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 eggs that are named exactly what they are even if the nickname is different it's named exactly what it is so then i loaded into the game and boom wow i saw 18 charmanders now i have 18 charmanders so just for a surprise i would say either nickname this the nickname or Name this the nickname that you chose for the Pokemon, which I mean, I guess technically it's a Nightlock. You got to choose a nickname. Nick, uh, name this the nickname that you chose or just use your username. But whatever you do, don't name it the Pokemon that you're going to send it because that defeats the purpose. So I'm going to J 
just for testing purposes. I'm gonna name this one Goof. So let's see if our egg worked out. Okay, we've got our egg all loaded up, our test egg, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and visit the PC and let's pop it on open here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an egg named Sasha that we will be dropping in our party. So traditionally in an egg lock, we would exchange our starter Pokemon, which was our Oshawa, for an egg that you guys have sent in from our PC. And then that egg that hatched from the Pokemon would therefore be our starter Pokemon. Every single encounter we get from there on out, we are going to then exchange for an egg from the PC that you guys have sent in. And whatever hatches will be said encounter. Does that make sense? The whole, the whole, the whole pin from way back. We've now brought it all back. It's full circle. We've explained the pin, the cracked egg lock portion, the egg lock portion, and all. Oh, so, 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 survey says. I wonder what's in this egg right here. Survey says. Oh my God. I did not know that. Would you like to give a nickname to the hatch Rotom? So, of course, like I said, when you nickname the Pokemon, it shows up on the egg. So, I'll know what to name it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and drop <laughs> Sasha the washing machine. <laughs> I wish she was here. But, as you can see, let's go ahead and check Sasha out. We made, gave her a bashful nature. We said she was from Anvil Town. Um, she is holding a master ball <laughs> she is level one and a luxury ball uh her stats are what they are we randomized them uh she's got speed boost with leaf storm quash roar of time and ground hot damn so you guys go ahead get to it hop in the kitchen or i guess hop in the chicken coop <laughs> and get them eggs made up and sent over i will include the email that you can send them to on the screen in the description below everywhere you will be able to access it check it out send me them eggs i believe this is going up on either monday or tuesday maybe late monday night maybe tuesday morning ish tuesday afternoon but we are looking to begin or i guess have episode two start this friday on the channel and when i say friday i mean this friday the 14th of October so get your eggs in send them in send them in send them in I hope that nobody misses out I know this is kind of haphazardly begun but I'm excited I don't want to begin I don't want to wait any longer god damn it <laughs> and this will probably be our final uh Nuzlocke before Scarlet and Violet comes out and you know we playing Violet Pokemon purple Pokemon purple no we playing Violet Pokemon purple Pokemon purple anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here thank you guys so much for your support uh, my preemptive thanks if you send in an egg. There is no limit on eggs as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. I was doing so good all the way up to the very end. I knew I was getting something. Um, but yes, there's no limit on sending in eggs. I mean, I'm going to say there's no limit. Um, you can send in one egg if you'd like. You can send in like five eggs if you'd like. You don't have to send in like 70. Don't go overboard with it. But uh, in the past, we've only done one egg. But I want to open it up. Let everybody join in. Go ahead. Send in your top three favorite Pokemon. Send in your top five favorite Pokemon or whatever. Uh, but there's no limit on eggs. Um, but be reasonable about it. So yeah, get your eggs in by, I'm going to say Friday morning. <laughs> so that we can have the episode up on Friday. Um... Any updates that I need to send your guys' way, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, get your eggs in. That's all that's important. That's all you need to worry about right now. Get your eggs in. Get your eggs in. Get your eggs in. Thank you guys preemptively for sending in eggs. I cannot wait to begin this adventure. I know you guys are just as hyped as I am. If you, in fact, are, and you'd like to show your support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on Friday with episode numero dos until then thank you all so so much for your love and light and be safe i'm out this bitch bye